Uh, so my name is Jesse, and I am in MYP3 as a student at CS International School. So my study abroad experience started when I was seven, and at that time my parents were always looking for time between holidays so that they can take me outside and learn new different stuff. So uh, the most uh, interesting and meaningful one for me was the time I was at New Jersey. Uh, I was in a Lego camp where non-native non speakers can also practice their English because they have extra tutorials about English class and I was one of those kids. Uh, at the very beginning, I was very unwilling to do that because learning English and communicating in English with other native kids were very challenging and hard for me, so I was really nervous. Uh, but surprisingly, at the end of the camp, I, am, I was really sad and I cried to my mother and begged her to let me stay for one more week because during the week I've studied there, I realized that you can have fun while you're learning at the same time. The teachers have never been angry with me because I misspelled some words or used the wrong grammar. Instead, they encouraged me to be happy about it because mistakes uh, is what make you learn. Uh, and after that, uh, when the mistakes occur at my exams, I was not so frustrated or sad because I take them as very precious stuff so that they can make me learn new things. And uh, that is a very new experience for me as a little kid at that time. My first day at CS Interna International School was at the open day. Uh, I came here with my dad and the moment I was at the lobby, I was very shocked because the lobby was so big and it didn't even make me feel like it was a school. And same with the classrooms. So uh, I realized that we don't go to uh, the same classroom every time uh, with all of our classes. Instead, we actually have to go to different classrooms for every single class. Uh, so it's like a uh, very like to college because um, they need to go to different places and find their own. Uh, classrooms. So I think that is a very unique part. And also, uh, the curriculums there are very special because uh, in NYP3, uh, one class is like uh, about 90 minutes, but in my previous school, the classes are like 40 to 45 minutes per class. And I think the classes are designed this way because we can think deeply and be more devoted and focused on our tasks and produce more quality work. Uh, so I think this is a very special part about our school. Uh, I think the most different part about uh, other schools and inter international schools is that uh, international schools can provide students with much more opportunities. So for example, uh, this is my second week at CS International School and I had my first and second music class there. So during music class, uh, we didn't just uh, appreciate different kinds of music or learn different songs. Uh, the teacher instead uh, encouraged us to form a band and everyone has to be a part of it. So I think that's really nice because we all get to uh, show our talents and implement what we've learned about music. We can play our own instruments and express ourselves. And hopefully we will be performing uh, in the Christmas concert uh, uh, with our band. So um, I think this is a very great example of how international schools can give children more chances uh, to learn better. Uh, I think I'm going to take the SSAT exam and the new version of TOEFL test uh, near the beginning of the near the end of the year. Sorry, and uh, after the results are available, uh, I think I'm going to work on my applications and my personal profiles for like the applications for universities. And uh, by the way. I have a dream school, uh, which is Caltech, because uh, I'm very interested in the fields of astrophysics, and uh, I understand that Caltech is at the very top of the field. So yeah, I think I'll be working on that, and uh, I hope that I can uh, work well uh, when I get to get into college. Uh, so I want to thank my parents for giving me all of the chances uh, from birth until now, because I wouldn't be sitting here uh, if it weren't for them. Uh, they were uh, 
paying a lot of money uh, for my extracurriculums and uh, they were supporting me all the time and they made me uh, they made me here so uh, I want to thank them uh, thank you mom and thank you dad <laughs> <laughs>